All right, push number two, Tom. There we go. And we're alive. All right, how are we going, everyone? We're up to the second driving lesson here with um, Gavin, who's uh, kindly agreed to do this with us, which is fantastic. And uh, Gavin is currently on his learner permit. You guys can see here the classic sign that I've got up for a while. This is just to, you know, uh, kill him with kindness, I guess. But let's head over to the front here and talk, have a chat to Gavin. You know, get in, get into it. How you going, Gavin? Hi, uh, good. So, just give us a quick spiel on on your history of driving and yep. and when you started with me and why. Yeah. So, um, I'm I'm Gavin. I'm 28. Um, so, a, a bit late to learning how to drive. So, um, basically, avoided it because I didn't need to. A bit lazy, but also a bit of fear around it. I went out maybe once with my mum when I was like. 18 and didn't go very well so um so i started doing some lessons at the beginning of the year um thinking uh wanting to get my license uh, i did it with a, another provider and they were very focused on just just learning how to pass the test it was all about the test yeah uh, and for me i wanted to learn how to be safe in the car i wanted to learn how to you know control the vehicle without without fear basically so uh Found out about Courtney, and uh, when would you say we started? Maybe well, was a couple of April, back, wasn't it? Yeah, um, I've done yeah ten April. lessons yep. with you, uh, plus the vehicle dynamics lesson, which is three hours. Yes. So um, yeah, I've done a fair bit of time with Courtney and getting way more confident in the car now. What did you think of the vehicle dynamics lesson? The vehicle dynamics lesson was very full on, but very <laughs> um, very informative yeah. and. Um, it was, it really gives me, uh, I guess, a bit more of an understanding, a bit more depth. Yeah. Um, knowing what can go wrong and how it goes wrong and how you can write it. Yeah. Um, that I think is just, just gives you a bit more confidence. Yes. And also the confidence in that avoidance, the, uh, or, or sorry, the, uh, the point of the big dynamics lesson was to create that avoidance, that crash yep. avoidance of yeah, yeah, yeah. understanding what could happen to then avoid it and not put yourself into that situation because, a lot of defensive driving is about control, but this is more about a proactive approach and going, okay, well, I know what can happen if, if I break, if I have to slam the brakes, an yeah. emergency brake. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to get into that situation, but it's mm. good to experience it. Uh, yeah. So that's great. Well, let's head off. We'll go on to a driving lesson. Uh, get onto the driving lesson, guys. And we're just going to pop this in here. Tom's in the back. It's pre on the previous hey lesson, so yes. I'm just going to wedge this in here, Kevin. Sorry. Sick. Now that shouldn't get in your way, shoulder, right? yeah. yeah, in terms of, your shoulder will be a little bit in the way, but that's okay. Um, there's not much we can do about that's that, fine. but you can still see out the window, which is yeah, great. Yeah. Um, that's so good. And uh, yeah, it looks really, really good. It's all right, let's, let's kick it off. And uh, that's all looking good. Yeah, it's all looking good, yeah. So we'll just run through what we normally run through. Yep. Um, so make sure you're comfortable. Oh, sorry. What do we set up first? So what's the first seat thing? Seat position. Yes. Yeah. And how are you going in yep. terms of your seat I'm position? I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. Great. Um, so we'll turn, we won't turn the car, we won't start it or turn it on, but let's get it up to the first setting, which is yep. accessories. And now you can adjust. So one more back down. Yep. So the first setting is accessories. So remember with this one, you'll have, uh, now this is a, a classic key start because we were just sitting in a newer car which was push button start mm -hmm. which is very different but basically your accessories are on now which gives you your radio and your mirrors yep um so after you've set up your seating um set up your yep. mirrors why do we uh, set up our seating first actually gavin what was that sort of reasoning behind that uh well if you change your seat if you change your seat position oh. then your Position relative to the mirrors is going to change. Yes, so you're going to have yeah, to change exactly. Mirror so mirror uh, seating and mirrors. So setting up your mirrors and what was your knowledge on the mirrors set up? How do we how are we sort of setting that up? Uh, so the main thing is for the rear view mirror, we need to make sure that we see the whole rear window. Yeah. And then on the side mirrors, you just want to be able to see like a sliver of the the mm. body of the car. Yep. And how do we set the front the side mirrors up though? Like what was the reference point? The front handle yes, first. Yes, excellent. Yeah, good. And then great. Getting yeah. that in the bottom right corner. Yep, excellent. And then moving away so that it's just a little bit of the car. Great. 
So Tom, while you're in the back, if you need to check the battery of this, you can just tap just the tap screen it. and yep. it'll come up and you'll get the, the no battery worries. level up and you can let us know if it's... So when it goes orange, it's obviously getting lower. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and yeah. when we're down to it's, like it's 10%, gone. yeah. It's it, good now at the moment. It should be okay. It usually lasts percent. about an hour and a half with yeah, the endurance yeah. battery. Fantastic going. So we'll turn the car on, but not started. Yep. So the next setting up. Cool. Um, we'll put our windows up for this, just so yep. that we don't have the road noise interfering with uh, what we're saying on the camera. Yep. Uh, it is pretty good, it picks up pretty well. But uh, So let's go through the controls as always. And mm -hmm. so I'm going to randomise them a bit. You've been using the controls for quite some time. Yep. And I can't remember if we discussed the mirror and adjusting yes, that's, yeah, yeah. yeah. so that setting that gives you the reflection. So uh -huh. say there's a vehicle behind you, very bright lights, what would you do with the mirror? Into to to yep to change it so it's not um, hurting your eyes yeah yep. exactly and it's obviously something we don't want to use consistently all the time but it is a great feature in, in vehicles utilizing this to, to see that reflection to see only so you don't have that direct vision of the of the headlights behind you um, uh, headlights onto parking lights mm -hmm. and low beam oh so parking, parking lights, yep. which ones were they yep then low beam lights and while you're on your low beams you can lock the high beam lights mm -hmm. Great, and remember with the locking of high beam lights that the low beams need to be active, that they need to be turned on for you to be able to lock mm -hmm. the high beam lights on. Um, unlock the high beam lights, turn the headlights off. So when your headlights are off, you can actually flash your high beams at any time. So how do we flash the high beams? Exactly, so you can flash them at any time. Remember that difference as well. Uh, front window demister, window heater. How would we activate that to demist the front window? Excellent. Turn all the way over, fantastic. And we'll put it back to front facing so we get the air yep. ourselves. Um, great, and rear back window demister. Yep, fantastic. And remember, I might have said before, so it's not going to turn, turn on now because uh, the car has to be started. Ah, okay. But the rear window demister is normally a button. It's mm -hmm. electronic because we have the lines in the windows at the back and that, that heats up and demists the rear window. Uh, front window washer, so we we'll to spray the front window yep. with water. Oops, man. that's okay. That's all right. There we go. And do you remember the symbol, like uh, the reference of it to, for the washer? What I said, what I always say it looks like for the, the washer symbol? No. No, that's all right. So uh, the McDonald's arches. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> so that that's pretty much the same in every vehicle. All the symbols are usually the same, the icons. Uh, rear window uh, washer for this yep. back window to spray that. Excellent. So see that going on there. Fantastic. And, and your front window settings for the wiper. Let's put it onto the highest, fastest function. Mm-hmm. Oops, that's okay. So that's the highest. Let's go back up to low. And then, in, oh, so low. Uh, yes, that's yeah. all right. So there's your low. Continuous. And then int, intermittent. Yeah. Uh, and with that, we'll adjust the timing to the fastest setting for intermittent. Do you remember what that was? Yep. So that's the, sl that's oh, all right. That's, that's the slowest. slowest. Yeah, no, the thin sorry. white line. So the thickest white line for int is intermittent. Uh, is the, that pause is around uh, about. Sorry, yeah, a yeah high. that's yeah. all right. It's yeah, it gets confusing. So the two to three second pause in the highest, two, yeah. and then we'll get it back down to the slowest, which is around about a 13, 11, 12 and a half second pause, something like that. Mm -hmm. Excellent. We'll turn the front wipers off for now. Yeah. And what you did when you went up, what is that function when you go up? What does it say there? Uh, that's to just have a one off, right? Yeah, just yeah. a quick wipe so your window gets splashed and things like that. Um, hazard lights, emergency lights. Mm -hmm. Great. And <clears throat> with those hazard lights, we talk, might have talked about it a while back, but what do you utilize the hazard lights for? What are they? What can we use them for? Um, just signaling that you're going to be, that you're stopped in maybe an unsafe place or that yes. you're going to be doing something unusual. Yeah. So an emergency situation, most likely. We are allowed to use our hazard lights when we're slow moving. Um, so we, I always talk about it with when reversing. So with reversing, we're, we're slow moving. It's more difficult for us to see. We, you know, so it's good to chuck them on if you aren't, if you can't see as much, if your mm -hmm. visibility is reduced. So for instance, you're backing out of a driveway. You got really high fences, like your driveway. You're back reversing out. Hazard lights on, um, uh, and especially in the dark, just to give that extra visibility for pedestrians to let them know that we're there, because we might not be able to see them as we're coming out. Mm. Um, hazard lights off for now and excellent our recycled air so you want to change the airflow mm. great 
and, and we'll have we'll change it back to um, air from outside. We normally want we want the air from outside. You'd, we don't want recycled air all the time. Just remember, when would you close off the air vents? Like, why wouldn't you want? Oh, the air? if there's a smell outside or yeah, yeah, some kind of yeah polluted air. So we'll uh, start the vehicle. Yep. That's that no mirror. problem, yep. no problem. Um, so starting the vehicle, and after we start the vehicle, what's the first thing we turn on? Well, we can turn on our headlights. Yeah, yep. great. So we, that's that habitual thing as well that I teach everyone. I try to teach, mm -hmm. um, start the vehicle, headlights on, headlights off, turn off the vehicle. Yep. And then that'll help, that will help you to do it all the time. Why do we drive with the headlights on during the day though, bright daylight? Uh, it makes us more recognisable even per split second. More visible, yeah, yeah, within split seconds, less likely to be involved in a collision. Fantastic. And, uh, well, uh, how are you feeling for heating and cooling? Do you want to put yep. the air conditioning on or are we happy to drive uh, without it? I'm, well, I'm pretty warm at the moment, yeah. Yeah, chuck but, it on. So, how do we put the air conditioning on? Uh, well, we've got front facing, we'll chuck that on. Yes, excellent. Yeah, no. AC, that's pretty much it. Another thing you can do is adjust the instrument lighting in here. Do you remember how to do that at all? Did, I, did we go Ooh. through that? That's all we right. might have, but I can't remember. That's okay, no problem, just let me know. So where your right air vent is, if you look underneath, there's a light bulb ah, sort of dial there that you yeah. can dial up and down, and we can make it darker or brighter. So we'll go down to make it darker, go back up to make it oh, brighter. So it's basically on full anyway. Yeah. So this is, that's old school as well. Like the newer vehicles, you probably have like your, your big screen and you could adjust it in there. Yeah. And so every vehicle's different, but- I wasn't familiar with a lot of the gadgets as well. Yeah, so I Tom- Tom did the really lesson up. before, so uh, FYI, Tom was, um, uh, I taught him from when he was 16 years old. Ah, yep. He went for his P's with me, went and did his drive test in his own vehicle, and then now he's a full licensed driver. Mm -hmm. um, and um, so like Tom actually, when he learned with me, I was just becoming a driving instructor. So my teaching style and everything I did was a little bit different. Mm -hmm. And so when we had the lesson then, he remembered a few things that I taught him back then that I've completely changed. <laughs> so yeah. very interesting. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I was saying it's, it's two, two different, completely different drivers. Someone who's already been with me, but also learnt with me when I was a, when I was a, a, yeah. a, a hothead. <laughs> driving instructor, <laughs> young gun coming in thinking I knew everything. You know, I've yeah. learnt a lot along the way and I've changed the way that I teach as well. So, mm -hmm. and I think that's really important with teaching you know we have to evolve we have to learn from from and yeah. and, and change and, and evolve and, and change adapt. and that's why yeah. you know we're saying with your driving instructor you went with before it was the drive test focus only they're so stuck in that that sort of way of teaching and the and some driving instructors are happy mm. with that sometimes that's okay that they do still teach safely but they're not sort of thinking outside the box and trying to expand mm. and it's really important i think and, and to, for, for driver safety um to be more advanced uh, cool, so we'll go for a drive game. We'll, yep. we'll head into Carlton. We'll take the freeway as well to yep. do some freeway driving because we didn't do any of that on the last lesson. Um, cool. So yeah, when it's safe, exit yep. the curb and just walk us through what you're doing here for the exit of the curb. All right, well, so we're gonna putting the handbrake down and putting the car into drive. Cool. I'm going to indicate and check my mirrors and check yep. over my shoulder, see whether anyone's there. Great. There's a guy opening his door a little further up. Okay. I'm just aware of, but I think we should be able to get past him. Fantastic. And in terms of exiting the curb and looking into the blind spot and over your shoulder, what exactly is over there on the right of you? What could be, what could uh, be there? Uh, well, there could be a car or a yep. bike uh, coming up the middle of the road. Yep. What about... Um, um, or maybe even a car reversing out of a driveway. Exactly. So exiting the curb, we normally have like maybe a street on the side of us or a, or a driveway someone coming out of there yeah and um, uh, yeah that's exactly correct correct it's not people think the blind spot sometimes is to look be looking back down the road or so know, we're gonna have to so do we'll, left and then a... so we'll do the block we'll go we'll turn yep. left and come back out onto Chandler um, you know the way yep so just take us that way and do everything you need to do yep. here you can walk us through things as well you don't have to wait for me good and if it's safe committing excellent good so remember, what's the speed limit on entry here? 40. So this applies to the length of road until signed otherwise. And uh, just for the chat as well, we've got a 40 kilometer hour speed limit here because there's road works and, and, and usually, and there's a building site going on, but no one obeys it as case in point right in front of us, the White Holden Commodore's cruising along at probably 50. And when can we legally do the 60? 
Uh, once we hit the six. Yeah, from the beginning. But I think. So we're gonna. Yeah, go we'll do the block. Yeah. We're gonna go keep going. Oh, yeah, we can yep. keep going. Yeah. So what are we gonna do here? Yep. Mirror signal hit check. Excellent. Slow down if he's not gonna yep. let you in. Yep. If he lets you in, go for it. Hit check. Yeah. So he's giving it. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Good stuff. Remember, we can hang people that are behind us by putting our hand up in yep. front of the uh, 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 mirror. That's I, okay. I did it in the, the wrong yeah. way. <laughs> and I think, do we have to go left yep. here? So we left can. here. Yep. So slowing down. Yep. Great. So in this situation, uh, remember, Gavin, we, we are allowed to cross the solid line. And why is that? Uh, well, it wasn't really safe to cross it beforehand because there was a bunch of the, parked the cars. The parked cars. There might, might have been not have been enough space. We might have been able to squeeze, but we would have been getting close to the parked vehicles. So we're, we're then allowed to. So that, that's that's an exception um, that they have. Someone doesn't have uh, an exhaust. Yeah. Good. Good. Speed limit on entry again. 40. Did you manage to catch the 40 type of 40 it was? No. Uh, so underneath it said 40 area. Uh, okay. And do you yep. remember what 40 area means? Uh, it's like the default. Yes. Um, uh, 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 sorry, it's... Uh, it's like the 50 equivalent of the 50, right? Yeah, well it's, yes, in a way. So all the side streets are 40, basically. So should we Every, go along here or should we 40. keep on going? You can keep going if you want. Follow yeah. the course of the road, that's fine. Um, so, yeah, just remember to slow yep. down here, treat it like a speed bump. They're coming off the brake, letting it roll, and then we've got the continuing road. So do we need a signal in this situation? No. Because no. no. it doesn't go in any other direction. Uh, and then, yeah, just follow the course of the road. This leads back to the Chandler High Road, I yeah, believe. Yeah. Yes, yeah. so we're just following this. Um, so what have we got up ahead of us? Remember, scanning ahead is uh, really We've got important. a bus coming up. Yep. Just aware that it can be exiting. Yes, and there's a certain the point where you can, and remember pedestrians might walk out in front from yeah. out front, so that's being defensive there, maybe uh, you're know, hovering over the brakes, shadow yeah. braking. Good. Excellent. How's it going there with Tom? With yeah, it's going well. Um, if I am to do redeems... Ah, uh, there's no command. redeems. Sorry, not redeems. Commands. commands. Should I go into Twitch? No, so you can just do it in the chat, exclamation mark, yep. whatever the redeem is. Yeah. So you've got uh, ADCW you can do, yep. which was just a welcome thing and just saying yep. keep things on topic. Yep. So if I can do shift, shift and one, yeah? Uh, oh, Within OB, that's I what just I'm, realized that. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So should I go through Twitch? Okay, so, so in OBS Studio, yep. um, if you go to settings, You'll see um, uh, hotkeys or something like that, uh, okay. and then you could change the hotkey from uh, one. You could just disable it. You could just delete, like get rid of it. Good, excellent. So speed bumps, just cruising along, fantastic. Had the traffic light going. We'll turn left. So preparing yourself there. Um, remember what's on the left side of us. Got a uh, bike lane. That's good. So we just got to stop. Be aware. Yeah, excellent. Well, what so Tom did that work? Yeah, so yeah. it says switch to scene. Should I just hit the so bin where it's got number icon. one? Yeah, where it's, yeah, where it's got bin. Yeah, get, bin, rid, of just get rid of it and then okay. go apply. Okay, and then it shouldn't switch it. Okay, where is that under hotkeys? Yeah, yeah, under yeah. Hot keys. yeah, cool. How do I apply it? So, or just press okay or whatever down the bottom. Okay. It should have something there that'll uh, allow you to do that. And then gotcha. You can push the X button. Yeah, yeah, it. gotcha. Is it still on the scene that we want it on? Uh, yes. Cool. And then when you push shift one, it shouldn't change the scene. Okay. We hope. Yeah, I hope. <laughs> Technical issues again. <laughs> it's hard when you're doing hot keys. I don't know why I did one, two, three, and four, because it's like you need those sometimes, the numbers, uh, you know? If you, if you touch wanna, them, it changes it the... It changes the scene of the... Oh, yeah, yeah, so we've got like a bear yeah, up back. No, it's working. All working right, fantastic. Yeah. So ADCW yeah. will bring up the welcome. Uh, then you've got... There's some other ones there about observation exceptions as well. Uh, yep. I don't know what the exception one was though. It might have been, yeah. You can always just do it just to see what pops up. So before turning here, Gavin, what are we going to do? Uh, head check for cyclists. Great. Yeah. yeah, excellent. Yeah, mirror head check. Fantastic. And whichever lane you want. Probably going to the right lane. Correct. Good. So the choice of lane here is really important, especially when you know what you're going to do next. Yeah. So you're prepared there because you know we're going onto the freeway. You know that we want to be in the right lane because we're eventually going to turn right. Could you turn into the right lane there as well? Were you allowed to do that? Or should you have gone to the left lane? Uh, there didn't seem to be a line. Yeah, there was There was not. There's, it, we were turning from it a wasn't single. wasn't a, a line forcing us into yeah. that lane. No, there was nothing there. So there wasn't multi-lane basically. It's a single right. lane, single file. So we were totally fine to do what we did. Uh, a lot of people think they should just go directly into the left lane if they're turning left. Yep. 
but that's not the case. Good, so yeah. plenty of time, excellent mirror braking and a gentle yeah. white stop. So here we talk about remember with the white line, yeah. when when are you what what's the reference of, of uh, stopping? basically when it sort of disappears underneath the bonnet or, or the hood, whatever yeah. you can see. Yeah. Excellent. Um and another one, uh Gavin, that I want to query about is the internal the internal mirror yeah. before braking. Why do we check the internal mirror before braking? Uh, just to see how close the car behind us is, whether it's gonna be a hazard to brake too yeah. quickly or yeah, so controlling and, and, and controlling them, slowing down slowing down a bit earlier to slow them down a bit earlier. Yeah. Uh, remember we talk about the average road user uh, following our lead. So if we're accelerating mm -hmm. too much and we're going too quickly, um, yeah, go for it. Uh, accelerate, good work, you control it, great. Uh, yeah, if, if, if we accelerate quite quickly, what are they gonna do? They're gonna follow us. They'll follow our yeah. lead, they might accelerate quite quickly as well. Not every driver does it, but I'm just saying from experience, mm. that's what I've seen. Uh, and and that's so for me it's the average driver the average road user will just do that and they'll they'll get very close so we can control them by by the way we drive as mm -hmm. well and how we drive how we operate on the road so we'll go into are you able to go over three so uh, I'm sorry that's yeah, okay uh over 3 p.m sorry like oh yeah, yeah yeah 10 minutes and stuff yeah because we were a bit late to yeah, to yeah. start no. so we'll because I wouldn't mind pushing in, we'll go into the city, we'll do a hook turn. Yeah. Um, we'll go through a bit of Carlton, some of those right turns and traffic lights. Yep, excellent. It's good. And what was the distance reference when stopped behind a vehicle? Uh, motorbike length. Excellent. So Tom, when he learnt with me, I used to say you should be able to see the whatever, whatever. what did I say, Tom? Uh, the, the, the... Uh, the rear bonnet of the or something, the rear the, of the car before the yeah, top, yeah. yeah. I, was, I, right. I can't the remember. Bumper. Basic the bumper, bumper of, of the, the bumper, the, front. the rear bumper. So, right. I, so I used to be kind of that, yeah, old yeah. school instructor mentality where it was talking about the referencing the body of the vehicle in front. Yeah. And and uh, I was every vehicle's different. Every vehicle's different. So I was explaining yeah. to Tom that that doesn't really work. Yeah. So right. Just be mindful of speed. Yeah. Excellent. And I think even um, in terms of like three second gap, there was never usually a three second gap. I might have said two seconds back in the day because that's what they recommend. Well, they judged it in car lengths, wasn't it? So, um, like yeah, there's, everyone does sort of different lengths. things. So yeah. we're going to get onto the freeway, Gavin. Yep. So just have a thing. Now remember, this isn't a merge or anything. Remember yep, last time? Line. Yeah, it yep. just opens up for some... Well, it kind of... It kind of is, it is, it's a bit strange that part, yeah, like seconds, just to see those cameras there yeah. as well, so recognising that, that means yeah. you can check your speed, at the traffic light up ahead, turn yeah. right, so that yellow light, we were, we couldn't have stopped safely, so we went, cruised yeah. on through, uh, you know, I always talk about yellow lights, and the key is not to speed up, yeah, yep, good, yeah. Excellent. I was trying to break smoothly there. <laughs> no, didn't quite that's all right. It's good. totally fine. Uh, it's all about the you and you know this. Another thing that people need to recognise. Very good. Just double checking because they might yes. come through. So we're getting onto a freeway. We need to get up to speed on the on ramp. You can see the hundred up there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just start to increase. This is we're going to be realistic here. We want to get on it. Yeah. And remember coming onto the freeway, go when you start looking at the lane you yeah. want to enter. Tell me, is there a car in that lane that you want to enter in uh, front? In front, yeah, there is one. Is it? Oh, sorry, you mean? Yeah, I think you're right. Part? Yeah, there. And then is there one in the yeah, mirror? Yeah. Having a look at the side, over uh, your I shoulder. Don't think so. Okay, so yeah. communication. Yeah. And double checking and nice smooth diagonal movement as we enter the lane. Beautiful, how good was that? Perfect. And great thing there. About is the move. My learners, everyone starts to learn to. second distance before the reason yeah. why we say three seconds is because we need to account for reaction time uh, yeah. you know the deceleration the braking all that kind of stuff we've got that extra time That's also probably not quite three seconds at the exactly so backing off a little bit yeah. more they just cruised on into the lane no signal no worries yeah. um, and uh, also it's to account for the person behind us. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So signage is really so important. Yeah, Alexandra we want to go to Alexandra, so yep. we'll need to change lanes. Excellent. So mirrors, signal, head check. It's safe, nice, smooth. I just did the, uh, the distance command. Yes. Well. Nice. Yeah. Great. And let us know 
if anyone's asking stuff, Tom, just... Yeah, we'll do. I'm, I'm monitoring. Yeah, let us know. I know this the 2 o'clock time is a bit different. Like, the 10 a.m. was good because we had a lot of people from overseas. Yeah, uh, now, yeah, now they're yeah. all in bed. <laughs> yeah, so we're taking yeah. this exit. Yeah. So mirrors yeah. signal. Good. Popping into your lane. That's the yeah. Very good. Excellent. Fantastic. Good work. Nice and smooth again. So reduce speed now. You feel the car. I mean, 80 at the moment it feels yeah. pretty safe in my personal opinion feeling yeah. it scan ahead again you know okay, so as, 60. yeah so scanning ahead very important and, as, and quite far ahead we need to be again around about um, scanning 12 seconds in front of us and yeah good to so backing it down to 60 again making sure we're doing the speed limit before the sign mm -hmm. we're going to push into Fitzroy uh, not Fitzroy Collingwood area mm -hmm. where um, there's a lot of 30, 30 yep. kilometre hour speed limit signs to show that off as well and the, the, the big changes there in terms of the lower speed limits here in Victoria. Yeah. GoPro is about just below half. Below okay, cool. Below. So that's fine if there's... Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, is that like 50, below 50%? Uh, 38 38 Okay, no problem. Great. Yeah, just uh, keep an eye on it. It, it. it doesn't last long. Good. Great. So this is definitely a good distance. Why do we want that distance, um, Kevin? What's so important about it? Um, what was the sort good of, point? Yeah. Is it if someone rams into the back of me, or that's one of them? Yeah, someone gets you, gives you, uh, hits you in the back, rear ended. Or if you move slightly forward for whatever reason. Yeah, you might accidentally roll forward. The car in front might roll back. Maybe yeah. it's a manual. Maybe it's a truck, bus. Uh, up ahead at the traffic light, when we get closer, we we'll yeah. turn left. Yeah. It's good. Yep, so checking mirrors as we move off and turn left. Okay, so there's some cars parked in that. Yep, which they're allowed to do. And there, so now we're, you know, again, exception, we're allowed to cross the solid line, which normally we wouldn't yep. be able to. <coughs> oh, careful. Yep. Careful. Yep. Just to, so that, just to that island. That's late, all right. Yep. Yeah, no, that's a cool. So it's a bit wide, I guess. Yeah. Um, and the bike lane, no stress, you know, if you cut the bike lane a little bit. Yeah, no, yeah, I was kind of trying to do my head final head check. Yeah, the head. final head check, yeah, there's a lot going on. So now we've got 30 yeah. and 30 what? 30 area. 30 area. Yeah. So same as that for So all the intersecting streets are 30. If you don't yeah. see a speed limit when you enter one of them, you now know it's 30 yeah. until you hit an N30 area sign, so like where yeah. it has an N30, area. Yeah. N, N30 area sign. Or you go to a main road and you see a speed limit change. So, um, but yeah, this is it. This yep. is this is the new the new uh, local street speeds, and um, it's there for a reason. It's it's to, to protect pedestrians and cyclists who are more vulnerable. Um, and uh, yeah, it's easier to measure as well. You know, for people who are, who are watching, obviously changing the speed limit is much simpler than trying to make everyone aware and observant because that's one of the biggest problems people aren't aware and aware and observant mm. enough at the traffic light turn right so in this situation technically mm. speaking we can't cross over that line yep. you'll have to have you put your wait seat, until we yeah get to... yeah it's a it's technically an island there's not if there was the funny thing is if there was banked up traffic we'd be able to push up and and, and wait on it but if it's this is should be painted inside so that people know yeah. it's a painted island yeah it's just basically two white lines that are that are making it out like it's an, a painted island, but um, it would be nicer if and it was painted. And what's the reason for so having an island? It's to stop people place. trying to push over to the right and squeeze in, and, and then getting closer to the on the opposite side. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, also, you know, there's, there's a line that have, we have to wait into, mm -hmm. uh, drive into, and, and wait behind. And I'm guessing they don't want it to be too long of a line. Yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure in, in regards to this, but. And then, yeah, great. So always, why would we check the good red arrow exit? Why would we check the right mirror there? Why did you check the right mirror? Um, it could have been a car coming up that went into the island earlier, or 100%. a bike even. Who knows if yes. they were doing a turn from here? Hundred percent. They probably shouldn't be doing. And that. <laughs> I can tell you now, it's happened before. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the reasons why, like you know, we we educate uh, you and and all drivers in regards to mirror checks when you think you wouldn't need them is because something has happened before yeah. and we're like alright well we need to check that mirror it makes sense as well like you know something could come be on the right of us regardless of mm. if they should or shouldn't be you know people do the wrong thing all the time people take risks all the time on the road and uh, again to be able to drive defensively and 
avoid collisions, we need to be mm -hmm. really of that heightened awareness. Uh, so think, have a think about what you're going to do here in terms of, let's say you don't get the arrow, yep. what would you do in terms of the solid green light, the circular so we're solid going light? out into the middle of the road before the, before the centre of the Great. intersection. Excellent. Um, getting ready to turn, but we don't want to block any of the cars coming in the opposite direction. Yes. By turning out, like by pushing out into their space. So. Correct. Yep. Fantastic. And you and so could you angle here to, to turn right, or do you need to keep the vehicle straight? I think you just. I mean, I don't really think we. I don't think there's enough room. By the correct. Thing. Yeah. So it, we, the, you're looking at it. You're assessing it. You're going. Oh, I can't. There's no way I'll be able to angle. Yep. So you're going straight. I've got. Oh, we got an arrow. And, and what does the arrow give us? Priority. Yeah, it gives us priority and what it pretty much. We don't have to give away. Now be careful here, because yep. have a look up yep. above you. I just yeah, saw the, I saw the X. I was thinking I'm going the right <laughs> lane, and then I saw the X, and I was so like, "So this oh. is, yeah, this okay, is." Okay, so this is 40. 40, yep. great. So speed limits changed, and we've got our lane markings above yep. us. Uh, our, our what what we can and can't do, what lanes yep. we can be in, what lanes we can't be in, and this is Johnson Street. So you'll get that. This is pretty old school. They yep. haven't really changed it, which is fine. And uh, but we, again, we have to be mindful of all that stuff. So remember to come yep. off the gas and shadow break just in case. Excellent, because you can see what yep. happens there. Yep. Pedestrians crossing when they shouldn't. Car in front's trying to turn. They might turn in front of us. Excellent. Again, that defensive driving and uh, the light could have changed as well. Yes. So yeah, yeah, definitely. So then we're just we're, we're more prepared. Yeah. Uh, if the light does change. Great, scanning ahead again. So the car in front's not braking, but they're slowing down yep. a little bit, which means they might Something's be coming. Well, yeah, and they might be coming off the gas pedal, so they're slowing down with their deceleration rather than their braking. You can keep moving. If, yep. Look, they, they can't really come out. There's a lot of traffic. Now, good, so you know, the line. Can we fit across the intersection? No. no, so we need to stay back. So again, for the chat, blocked intersection up ahead. When mm -hmm. it's free, you can move. You can see and you can, oh, oh, that's all right, <laughs> totally fine. So the key here, and in terms of blocking intersections, we, it's very, very rare, I've said it to a couple of students this, this week, it's very rare that we will block an intersection. It would have to be like we couldn't see what was up ahead. So, because a lot of people block intersections and they think, yeah. oh, well, oh, I didn't, you know, at the end of the day, I just feel like there's no excuse. You can, yeah. we can scan ahead, we can see what's going on, we can see if we can fit across. If we can't fit across and we can't fit in front of the pedestrian crossing, we have mm. to wait back. And right now you're gonna to have to wait back yep. because of the pedestrian crossing. It's good, we're probably gonna get beeped, but anyway. Yeah, that's all right. You have to just deal with it. So okay. you can see the traffic's moving up ahead. Yep. So we can probably start to move, mirror and gas. You can see we're definitely gonna be able to fit. Checking side mirror as well, because you can yep. see what happens there. Someone speeds up and then tries to get in. Which, the gonna they, which they're probably the going to do, sort of and you can see, line. you can oh, see them. Yeah, let them in exactly. You can see their body language. Just let them go. Who cares? And then we just again, that's it. It's, it's traffic. It's that whole thing with traffic. You just we have to accept it and just whatever, because hmm. um, we're not going to get ahead. We're just going to cause more issues. It's going to upset the flow of traffic as well if we're if we're getting annoyed and hmm. being like you know standoffish in that situation. A couple of pedestrians, a lot of pedestrians here. Uh, Great. This is an intersection. Correct. Too, this is an yeah. intersection. It's one way. So they come through there, they can go across. Yep. They can turn out onto this street left or right. Uh, it is again this that is the that is the part of the intersection that's blocked, so we can't fit across. Case it's in gonna point, be pretty hard for them to yeah, it I is. Mean, to see, I mean, there's no one coming, but... So, if on their end, they should be creeping out and taking yeah. it very, very slowly. Um, and that's pretty much it. But this is a great example of not blocking intersections, recognising that we're not allowed, it's illegal, that we're not supposed to. Mm -hmm. uh, and and you, you did that really well. You you recognised it, so... And this is good, so you can see we're, we're starting to be able to move. So, mirrors again, and left mirror again, because... Yep. You've got People your coming, yeah. yeah down the left lane parked vehicles, then they creep over. So remember here, yep. yeah, off the gas and shadow braking. Remember, there's that certain point where you are going to have to commit to crossing. Oh, the commit, turns orange. correct, yeah. exactly. It turns yellow you, or orange, whatever it is, yeah. amber. You've got to end up either committing, and and that does that doesn't mean we speed up. That yeah. just means we cruise on through at the speed that we're doing and we get through it. I was just talking to Tom about that 
pre in the previous lesson, you know, not, not stressing so much about the traffic lights if we can't fit across, if we can, and all that kind of jazz. So I mean, we could have, might have been able to let that car in, but then traffic starts moving, things are happening. Yeah. It's, it's you know, it's okay. So what's the speed limit? Uh, well, it was 40. And Correct. I think it's so it's changed. No, so it's no. still 40. Uh, now yeah, it's 50. But yeah. yeah, we can only Take do the, the sign. Yeah, 50 from the beginning of the sign. Uh, excellent. That's it. Fantastic. Great. When it's safe, Gavin, we'll change to the left lane. So great. Mirror, mirror, hit check. Excellent. Good, great, great speed management there. At the traffic light, turn left and into the right lane. So remember how many meters you can drive in the bike lane? Uh, 50. 50, good. Be careful here because you can't see. Uh, yep. Yeah, just, just be mindful. Cars are going to turn in there. That's what the key clears for. Yep. Stop him before the line vehicle nice and straight. Yeah, but um, but but the back of me. Oh no, it's, is the back of me in the pit, please? No, 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 it's not. And even if a little bit of it was, it's not that bad. Because remember, this is more importantly is here at the line. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why do we need to stop before the line? Because a lot of people creep over the line and get closer and closer to to the intersection. Why? Why do we want to stop behind the line? Um. Oh, it just gives more space and like if we ever get bunched forward then yeah so rear end do it again what about in front of us what's in front of us pedestrian yeah pedestrian yeah. more vulnerable uh road user great so do what you need to do here yeah, yeah. remember before turning to perform that head check for the pedestrians because yeah. they last minute come running across and that positioning road positioning yeah. right lane remember yeah so we're, that. yeah that's okay so we're pointing the car getting that yeah now I noticed you were kind of directing to the left lane yeah, a bit. Yeah. Speed limit on entry as yep. well. What have we 40. got? 40, great. It's interesting as well because, yeah, good. Even though they're not supposed to cross, you can just see them mm, right. running. Yeah, so you just don't know. That. And they're not looking at us as well. Yeah. The, the eye contact is so important with, mm -hmm. with driving, with road users. All right, are we going straight? Or yes, are we? Yep. so follow the course of the lane and yep. check in. Yeah, excellent. And mirrors because you can see what that Some driver people, did. Yeah. Hey, at least they indicated and 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 that that was that was fine. You know, yeah. it was a broken line. They didn't rush it really. And that's that was not 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 honestly not a big deal in my opinion. Good. So this is an intersection on the left of us, but you know, this is mul right it's multi lane. It's yeah. yeah, it's a bit different. And they come across and then they end up blocking the traffic and it can be a bit of a disaster there um, so they need to they need to be patient and wait really good yep so you can see the lane closing off there how's it doing Tom got about 26 percent cool that's all right it's going well it's weird without the TTS yeah no, but I'm no. supposing there's not there's as many not people. there's not a lot yeah like last time this morning I mean it's good that'll be great to uh to watch over Yep, great. So it's not a pedestrian crossing yeah. again. You just don't know pedestrians. Now, have we done a hook turn before, Gavin? No, we actually haven't. All right, great. Uh, it's the first time for everything. Yeah. So we cover that, you know, throughout our training, but obviously we haven't done it yet. But we'll, so that's what we're going to go and do now. Yeah. And this is your first time doing it, so this is great. So it'll be great to watch back over and, yeah. you know, and uh, learn from it. Just so think about good positioning there. And what do you think people do there when from the right lane? when they're coming across. Oh, they go into the other lane? Yeah, they go in the other lane. They don't position themselves correctly, put themselves in danger and the other, other people in yeah. danger. So we're just continuing straight at the traffic? Correct. Right? So continuing so. straight at the traffic. And yeah, I remember if I don't give you a left or right or yeah, yeah. Over, just, yeah. just just keep going, just keep following. But there's nothing wrong with obviously asking, um, but just committing. So basically we're just pushing into the start of, the, they're just on the left beeping ah. because they were sitting there and the light went green and no one was moving. It's probably a distracted uh, driver. Mm -hmm. So I'm just pushing into the, um, just the, the outskirts of the, you know, in, in a CBD mm. and, uh, or the, the CBD, sorry. And um, uh, we're gonna do a hook turn on Latrobe Street. I think it is up there onto Ligon Street, Russell Street, which turns into Ligon Street. There's an old yeah. Falcon over there, an old oh, uh, XB yeah. Falcon, yeah. Really love those cars, the coupe. Um, I was down in uh, Beechworth a few mm. weekends ago and they had an old, uh, like a classic car weekend. Oh, yeah, they loved it. Loved and he heaps and heaps of old cars like that, it was pretty cool. So, 
I'm going to have this car in June now, so you, you might be in a... Yeah, I might, might get a chance to drive it. <laughs> we'll see how we go, yeah, be mindful of yep. those drivers. Now we... Ooh, ooh, see? Yeah, okay, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Hold back there. Keep your distance, because we yep. can always overtake um, if the light goes yellow, all right? So, yep. that was just not scanning. We haven't yep. scanned ahead. I um, too busy thinking about that car. Yeah, yeah. No, it's all right. Traffic light will turn right. But like I said, we, we normally wouldn't block the intersections. Very rare scenario, rare case. That was rare because you couldn't see over them. It was a blind crest yep. as well. But we've got to try and scan ahead and, and maybe just hang back next time yep. and be like, oh, I want to see what unfolds what here. Yep. Good, so we're pushing up. We've got a green solid at the moment. Yep. So again, if you can fit uh, in front no. of the crossing, go for it. Now it's yep, changed no, to an arrow. No, no. Fantastic. Yep. Right lane, which is yep. next to the tram lane. Uh, speed limit on entry as always. 40, yeah. A little bit of dust that was from the uh, sand, dust from the tram there. Yeah. And the internal mirror checks. So we already see this car behind yeah, sort yeah. of push to the left, like as if they were going to overtake. So ha have a look ahead and, and tell me how do you know it's a hook turn? Oh, there's how a sign in the. Uh, yeah. There's a sign under. Uh, above, yeah. Yep. Excellent. So there's the sign above. Um, so when it's safe, change to the left lane. Yep. So preparing, very good. Yep, so mirror head check, could be a cyclist there. Scanning in front, make sure we do what we do here. Now, what you can do you Gavin, is you cancel your indicator for now. Yep. We don't want to confuse people too yep. much. We'll, we'll get in the intersection and then signal. So we're yep. gonna move up. We're not gonna do any signaling yet. We're yep. just gonna go straight up. And with hook turns, we're basically turning right from the left yeah, hand yeah. side. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you've probably seen it. So I've if you can't done, fit, yeah. hang back. So that's that car up there. Is yeah, there? Oh, yeah. There's so also move up there. Up. So mirror is there space? Yeah. yeah. Two cars is fine. So right signal on. So we can't legally go till that light is green, yeah. right? So holding behind here, motorbike length. Yeah. Fantastic. And when this light so goes... So... Because I see the box. Yes. But so I'm allowed to be okay. here yes, behind the box. Yes, you are. Um, and we're totally fine. So it's any, basically anywhere in the intersection as long as this light's green? Ju or? Just here, but it's usually we say two car two policy, cars, it okay. depends. Yeah. So yellow and light, we're going to start to roll. So coming off the yeah. brake and moving with the car yeah. very slowly and then turning into and the left lane. Make sure that on the gas green. left lane, yep. yep. That's it. Good. And the cars on the left have to wait for us. Like yeah. it's, it's just, we can't. And they know what we're doing. The, so. Yeah, yeah. They get uh, people do get impatient and annoyed, but they don't realise that you can't. We can't go because Until the lights are red yeah, on yeah, the yeah. other yeah. side. We'll be running a red light. Yeah. So we have to wait till it's green. But when the light in front of you goes yellow, amber, you can start to roll and move. So you can see that yeah. learner going a bit wide. Good work. You kept in the lane. Excellent. Totally fine. They're a learner. They make, yeah. we're, we're allowed to make mistakes. Um, full licensed driver. Yeah. Shouldn't be, <laughs> but they <laughs> but they will. Um, but this is the thing as well, Gavin. Like you know, when you, it, it's great that you're taking so much time. You're investing. You're, you're investing in this to really become a, a great driver, the best driver you can be. Uh, I think that's really important, and it's good of you to take that responsibility because some people don't. Yeah. You know, we get people call up all the time and go, oh, "I've got my test next week. Oh, I just need one lesson in the test." You know, mm -hmm. I, I get people like that, and I'm and I. I don't even bother. I can't. Uh, I can't. It goes against every f all the fiber of my being to be able to take <laughs> someone like that. So um, I just don't do it anymore. I did yeah. used to do it, admittedly, but that was because when I first started, again, I was just you know kind of the average instructor, driving instructor. But I won't do that anymore. It's about mm. uh, a longevity and li a license for life and training people appropriately, making sure they're, that they're fully prepared for the the real world of driving. I think that's really important. I'm feeling very comfortable in the back here as well, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good thing, man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. These, these videos as well will be exported to YouTube. Uh, yeah, So cool. the Twitch, yeah, yeah. So that's the other thing as well. I we want to look at it. Yeah, and it just makes, because last time the, the, the video that I put on YouTube was actually recorded and um, and then edited and then uploaded, which takes a lot longer. Yeah, yeah. Whereas live streaming on Twitch, you can just live stream and then yeah. it's done. And then you just export it to YouTube and it's, and it's good to go. Excellent, so what's the speed limit here? 40. Great. So we'll start to slowly make our way back to your area and we'll go a different way than the freeway so that yep. you can see the difference, um, the different parts of Carlton through Fitzroy and then up through to Alfington area. Um, 
I'm just trying to think what else we were going to cover. Oh, maybe some right. Is there anything that you in particular are thinking about? Maybe that uh, you would like to I mean, to I do? think we we already done a couple of right turns, but right turns, I think at, at the traffic like lights. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Just, yeah. Like because. Like earlier on, I sort of overshot it a bit and turned a bit late, room if you remember. Oh, into the multi-lane road? Yeah, and there yes. was that island in the middle and things like that. So I think much some of my judgment on uh, how to do some of the right hand. Yes. Oh, that was a left turn actually. But anyway, some of my judgment on some of the turns, um, yeah, I need more practice with. I think. Okay, yep, no, no problem at all. We'll get onto that. We're well, good to do a hook turn though. Yeah. <laughs> And we'll do that again and again, and until because obviously, don't forget that you know this is f fairly like I am talking a lot. There's still a lot of instruction and yeah. uh, and coaching yeah, yeah. And, and all that, but we're, we're going to get to that point. Without, yeah. yeah, where you're. I mean, I mean, you're. It's it's a mixture. You are doing things yourself, and you are talking through things and saying what you're doing. Yeah. But we want, we're going to get to a point where you're doing absolutely everything yeah. yourself. Yeah. And that's when you know you're ready for the yeah. test. Let's be mindful yeah. of speed yeah. again. What's the speed limit here? 40. Great. Yeah. So I had a student the other day, and shout out to Archer who uh, passed his test on Friday. Oh, the great. day before <laughs> his test, we went, uh, we did a, a two hour lesson, uh -huh. and uh, he uh, drove completely solo via a GPS direction. So we set up a GPS. Yeah. He drove to the location, and that's when I was just like, you know, he's a hundred percent ready. He's so you didn't say anything. I didn't say a word. Uh, right. Yeah, he drove completely. I, I, I kind of just gave tips and sort of, you know, I was like, just remember, you know, the GPS device isn't always accurate, yeah. you know, or something like that, or uh, it, oh, it says the speed limit on the GPS, but it don't believe it. So those kind yeah. of things, you know, like, but it was never any sort of. Any uh, instruction, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in, instruction or direction or anything like that. So that was fantastic. So we'll do the same, and yeah, we've done GPS training, a bit yeah. of GPS training as well. Mm. About 16% on the battery ports. I reckon it might hold up till we get there. We're fortunate we didn't have a full charge with the battery before, but um, I've got another battery, I should have just put that in. But this one's the battery that's currently in it's an endurance battery, so it lasts a bit longer. Great, so scanning ahead, you can see yeah. what's going on and what's happening. Um, I saw it, one, I saw someone do a lane change earlier and I wondered whether there was a reason, but I can't see any blockage. Yeah, it doesn't really look like it, does it? It's maybe just some impatience from change. people, uh, yeah. So with this um, kind of stuff, Gavin, keep keep you like don't remember to keep your distance mm. if you think something maybe maybe someone's parking up ahead because the further away you are from the whole situation the easier it's going to be yeah. to get around it whereas as we get closer mm. you you know you're going to get closer you're going to be like say in this position and, and you're of, like oh what's going on up ahead really. oh no i need to yeah well yeah. you're going to have to turn a lot to get around them yeah. so that is a nice ducati tom yes <laughs> Is that a Pangali? Oh, Panagali, nice. I think, yeah. yeah. Oh, they were moving nearly? Yeah. Panagali, nice. sorry, yeah. Panagali, yeah, beautiful. I think that's yeah, a monster. Yeah, so nice and front. gentle mirrors. It's nice. I'm going to go get my bike license soon, yeah, so just keep your, your distance from them. You've got your other motorbike right here. Be careful of this if you can't yeah. fit. Just, yeah, good, and then keep moving. Oh, we, yeah, so yeah. we're good to move. So just in that situation, just slow down a bit and yeah. keep rolling and be like, all right, do I need to stop? Road positioning here, just yep. again judge your distance. Um, great when it's safe, Gavin. Change to the right lane if possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great, excellent. So lots of turning to get over if you want, yep. and then coming back. And yes, keeping your distance yep. from the, the yeah, motorbike. Yeah, I, know, right. I was, I was <laughs> trying to make sure I was in the lane, and then yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna go for your bike license. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm gonna get it because you don't I, I haven't got a bike yet, but I can yeah. get I can get it like they've got the bikes there for training and everything, and then yeah I'm very very keen just and I just want it for spirited riding like I don't want to ride around on roads like this yeah so we'll turn right at the traffic lights sorry very good and we're maintaining that uh, motorbike length distance great moving up again for Dan motorbike length distance from the vehicle in front. So this is obviously just judging, can you fit up in the yeah. intersection? You can roll on through, it's still a green light. Yeah. Excellent, and get your, your road positioning. Of course, yellow light, totally yeah. fine. Just take it easy into the left lane when safe. Yeah. No rush, just get, get in there and we're all good. Great. So again, there's that example of 
Oh yeah, the lights turned yellow, but it's okay. Yeah. We're in the intersection. We have to get out of there. No need to rush it. Yes. Yeah. Get get through it. It's you know the lights are still got to turn green on the other side. I had the traffic light up ahead. Gavin turned left mm -hmm. and into the left lane. So you can Good. Oh, actually, we'll go left and into the right lane, yep. so you can practice that, like you were saying yep. before, that turn that you did last time, and mm -hmm. you didn't position yep. correctly. So just remember, it's the right lane to get your position correct when you're entering the road and, and position the car into the right lane. That's cool. How's the battery doing, Tom? Uh, <clears throat> just one tap. Twelve uh, percent. <coughs> So if it dies, um, you can just put in the chat, uh, battery, GoPro dead. Yeah, and, no worries. Uh, you, I think it's number four will bring up the stream end. Yep. And you can just leave it on for like 30 seconds and then stop the stream. If the, but sh it might last. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, hopefully. There's one thing that there was a lot of complaints. At least this is a brand new GoPro. It's the latest version mm. of GoPro's camera and it's yeah, terrible on battery and overheats and stuff. <laughs> it's brand new. So we're going to pop up into yep. yeah and right lane. So start to yep. prepare. Great turning, and you've done the head check there to see. Have you? Yeah, excellent. Yep. Great. Fantastic. That's great. Good. What's the speed limit here? Forty. Great. When it's safe, change to the left lane. Speed yeah. increase, yeah, good. That was one thing that uh, yesterday uh, on Archer's test, when he came back, the tester said you had crept over your speed a bit when, when he went and did a lane change. It's oh, kind of okay. a, it's just a common thing that we do when lane changing yeah. or when learning to lane change, and um, so it's really important, especially on the test. So mm. because he was less than five kilometres uh, an hour over, and he backed it down within five seconds it was okay so mm -hmm. that's that's the criteria states if you're less than five kilometers over the speed limit you're allowed you've got a five second window to to, uh, to, okay. to, to get it yeah. back to the speed limit so the minute you hit five over uh it's an immediate fail so it's yeah under five kilometers an hour mm -hmm. you, you've got five seconds yeah. so in terms of the test criteria which obviously we're going to eventually have to delve mm. into when we're going for your your drive test. Have you booked in? Have you? Booked in? No, Good. no. Well, because I'm going away. Yes. I'm yeah. Get back. As, well, I mean, if there's no, and if there's no sort of, like, you there's don't no need urgency. it for work, or yeah. there's no urgency for it, that's fine. Like we've done, you know, a lot of training now, which is fantastic, and you're you're getting set for life. So it's, I feel confident in your skills that you can go and do the test, whereas other people I haven't before. So remember, here hovering, yeah, because yeah. that, as you can see. That happens. Yeah. Now we crossed the line already. It was yeah. yellow. Great. We, you know, no problem. We, we couldn't have stopped safely. No, easy done. Great. Right, and it's in forty area. Yes. As well. yeah, yeah, great. Forty area. So crossing intersections as well. You'll have speed limit signs a bit further up, um, or, or, or just as you cross over the intersection. So that's a good one to note as well. What's the battery like on the laptop as well, Tom? Thirty percent. Oh, yeah, beautiful. So this is the thing with wireless streaming. Um, yeah. the, it's, there's just so much power being used in the, that it drains quite quickly. I don't think the GoPro will last on about 8%. Cool, that's yeah. all right. Well, we can, we can uh, we'll pull it up and uh, pull over and uh, we'll just drive till it dies. Yeah. We'll drive it till it dies. Yeah. Cool. And then you can just let, just put it in the I'll, chat. I'll let, yeah, I'll, I'll just put it in the chat. I know it's much uh, quieter this time. So this this morning when Tom and I were driving, the chat was going crazy uh, through the, we have, you have the TTS up, because Tom's a full licensed driver. Mm -hmm. um, I was like, we'll just put TTS up and- uh, What's TTS? Oh, uh, text sorry, text-to-speech, yeah, yeah, yeah. Text, sorry, text-to-speech. So yeah, the laptop's secured in the back and text-to-speech just reads us the chat. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately we couldn't answer what everyone was saying because there was a lot of stuff Oh really, that's on. pretty good. Yeah, it was good, I, but I just wasn't, comp didn't feel, didn't feel like we could do it with this lesson. I wanted time in the back so that yeah. we could fully focus and concentrate on, on everything. Um, but when we get to that point, if you want again, Gavin, we can do this again at, at, at a point where you're like prior to your test mm -hmm. so that you can see that difference in, in your driving from this yeah. lesson on yeah. this live stream to the next one where you're like, we'll do a, a GPS drive and you mm -hmm. know, it's maybe your test is the week after and then you can see the difference.
difference because that'll be where you're you're fully solo driving. Yeah. Now the traffic light turn right. So just walk us through this. The right turns at the solid green and where you're going to position. Uh, so this one, there's an island in the middle, so Good. I can uh, position the car to the right a little bit. Yes, correct. So you can angle it. Great. So just pop that in. Slow down. More. Good and move more turning. So the centers, yep. yeah. So remember, yep, yeah, good, we're doing it. excellent. Yep. So it's about that good, about the um, uh, allowing for that space for both cars to turn at the same time. Mm -hmm. So a car opposite. So just remember, yeah, that positioning is imperative, you know, to, to allowing that to happen and we don't get in their way. And we, again, we avoid collisions, and there's risk of collision. Cool. Now, I actually missed the speed limit, but I'm guessing it's 40. Yes, correct. Because oh, we're in a 40 area. 40 area. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Great. So here, important to check for cyclists. Now, cyclists, yep. again, are meant to ride in the and middle, they and they the don't. Middle. Good. Yeah. They ride on the side of us, which is dangerous, and, you know, for them, less visibility. Yeah, lots of turn in there. Excellent. Weird roundabout. Yeah. That's just to slow people down, that roundabout. Good. Careful, okay, careful. Okay, right. That's yeah. all right. Good. So what was happening there? Walk us through why. Uh, I was looking in the mirror for cyclists yep. and yep. I didn't notice and it's, how much I that, needed to turn. Yeah, yeah and that's fine. So uh, for now, like again, it's all it's okay to, to make that, that mistake. Um, so that's that case in point of when we stare for too long and how yep. quick, how quickly things can change within like a split second. Mm -hmm. We're like, oh, you know, I'm staring there for too long and suddenly my position is, is, is off. Yep. So just look, it looked like you were going for the curb. You might have gotten onto it but I just I kind of yep. was a little bit of a guide there just to help but uh, for the most part you handled it um, and it, it, the internal mirror check is fine there as well coming out of the roundabout mm -hmm. you can see if a cyclist might be behind but the left mirror check was, was okay as well it's just that being a bit quicker on the check yeah, yeah. how's the battery on the GoPro nearly? 4% uh, Oh, it's Lovely. Oh, it's going to be close. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Once it dies, then we then we can uh, let loose. Snap. <laughs> cool. So here we go. So, excellent. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Checking both mirror as well because of the uh, cyclists. Great. Avoiding that curve. So. Scanning ahead, we've got a cyclist. 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 Great, yep. Um, we don't want to get on the other side of the road, so there's not much we can do before the roundabout. Exactly, short window of time, probably no point. Yep. Maybe in the next section, maybe we'll see how we go. The cyclist is going pretty fast. Yep. Good, All right, nice indicator from the cyclist there. And continuing straight. So, what's the what's your knowledge on the roundabout rule? We've talked about it before. Who do we give way to? Uh, anyone in the roundabout? Yeah, anyone inside. Uh, and then we're reacting to hazardous road yeah. users that are flying in. Yeah. Just really trying to hone that in for people who are watching as well and who, who re-watch the streams or the videos that I, that I record because we just find that people still don't understand the roundabout rule and that, you know, it is whoever's in the roundabout first. It's first in best dress realistically but of course there's that defensive driving you know we don't mm -hmm. want to get into a crash so we don't want to be um, too arrogant there and be like well you know just because we know the rules gentle on the brake. yeah, yeah I'm just looking for the intersection but now yeah good no that's great because you're not supposed that's yeah it's, an, inter intersection? it's yeah. an intersection it's not really a driveway it's a street uh, and it's an intersection but, but it was a bit hard there on a bit hard brake. on yeah. the brake that's all yeah no we didn't have anyone behind us I noticed it last minute it was the, yes. yeah but I should have checked my um, Ruby and first. just adjusted, yeah, gradually. Uh, a bit further side, yeah. 